Megan, very, very nicely done. Whoa, gorgeous. Nice work. I've got this document open so we can make some camp comparisons. It looks like your letter forms are done very well, nice and consistent. A couple of issues I see in, in, in the letter forms, um, like, okay, so for example, that's a true vertical, right? But over here, it's, it's on a diagonal, it kind of slants this way. And as some of your other letter forms are on the slant as well. So you want to make sure that the verticals are true verticals. It looks like your baseline, mean line, and cap line are perfectly level and perfectly parallel. So that's fantastic. Nice job there. Um, the shapes are great. I think there's a couple of areas that we can uh, create some improvement, and mainly in the lowercase a and the lowercase n. Now, Franklin Gothic is a variable um, with stroke. So these are variable stroke weights, right? So for the A, for example, right here, look how thin that is compared to this. You want to depict that. You want to make that null right there. And then in the, in the N, okay, this right here where this branch or the shoulder meets this, this uh, uh, vertical stem, uh, or this, uh, uh, the, that area right there, you can see that's much thinner than it is right here. So you want to depict that. You, you have pretty well here. That looks pretty good. Make sure that all of your um, vertical stems reach the, the baseline, okay? And you're looking pretty good on the mean line. And, okay, so other than that, I think you're looking great. Now, letter spacing right now, you're very, very consistent. Okay, now what we can do is we can improve the letter spacing here by applying a couple of, of very basic rules. Okay, so the narrowest space between letters falls between two curved letter forms, okay, followed by the next most narrow space between a straight letter form and a curved letter form, and then the widest space should be between two straight letter forms. Okay, now when I say most narrow and wider and widest, it, it really shouldn't be noticeable. I mean, you shouldn't really notice it. It should be, it should be pretty subtle. It shouldn't be like, wow, that is much wider than that. You should the, the viewer, you don't want the viewer to be able to notice these differences. These are just little subtle variations. And the reason being is because we want the volume between letters to appear to be the same. Okay, so as we can see, look, the, the volume between, let's say, this space right here looks to be much less than the volume between this space right here. And the reason being is because you have all, and when I say between the spaces, I mean from the baseline to the mean line. But you look at, and, and, and let's just eliminate that spot right there. So we take a look at all this extra space right here, and we can say, okay, that creates more volume. So in other words, if you were to pour a pitcher of water in here, it would take more water to fill this up. And again, we'll just draw a line right here to fill this up. Than it would to fill this up. So theoretically and 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 intuitively, we would want to move these closer together to reduce that space, move these a little bit wider apart to increase that space to make the volume appear to be um, consistent in between all letter forms. Okay, and again, that's the basic formula. The closest spacing is between two curves, followed by the space between a, a straight and a curve, and the widest space should be between two straights. So let's go ahead and work on your letter spacing. And again, uh, the reason letter spacing is so important is because it allows us to view groups of, letter, of letters as a group. It allows us to, work, to view groups of words as a sentence, as opposed to separate words. Anytime you see a space in text, the mind automatically wants to pause. So keep that in mind. So for example, if there was a space between the N and the A, we would read this as bun Anna. Uh, with good letter spacing, we don't even really sound it out. We look at it and immediately recognize it as banana. Okay, so you can see how letter spacing will improve readability. It also improves attention. And, um, I'm sorry, retention, and um, and and uh, like I said, readability and retention. Okay, that's a reason why letter spacing is so important, Megan. So all right, so great start, really good start. So I'd like to see you address these comments in your final iteration, which is due this coming Sunday. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Okay, thank you very much.